I just got this really great book from the library. It's called Getting Into Art Animals. And it is by Susie Brooks. And Susie Brooks shows some different artists to create projects for. And the one that we're going to look at is Juan Miro. Take a look at that artwork there. All right, do you see some creatures in this artwork? Look here, here, how about up here? Do any of these creatures look like realistic images? Not really. See, a lot of the images that he creates are kind of silly. In this book, Susie Brooks, the author, gives us some really good ideas of how we can use the ideas from an artist like Juan Miro and turn it into our own piece of artwork. So let's just look under this little flap here. She suggests to make some crazy creatures just like Juan. So one way to do that is by creating a piece of artwork that is two-dimensional using crayons and paints and maybe markers. But what we're going to do today is take our Play-Doh and create sculptures of some crazy creatures. Here are my secondary colors. I have orange, I have purple, and I have green, or something kind of close to it. We're going to take these three colors and create a crazy creature. In addition, we will be able to use some googly eyes. I have lots of different kinds and different sizes. You get to choose two, if you want, to add to your creation. You might create a coil. A coil is when you take your Play-Doh and roll it back and forth on the table in between your hand and the table. Some artists like to pick it up and go like this, too. I suppose you could try that. My preference is to use the table. This is called a coil. Now you can take that coil and arrange it in different ways. You can take that coil and spin it up so it turns into a spiral. There's lots of different ways that you can use coils. Another thing that you might do is make a pinch pot. So if I put a little tiny hole right in the center and then I use my fingers to pinch the sides, I can create a bowl or this bowl could become, oh, I don't know, a hat or a head for my crazy creature or maybe the bottom. And you can just shape and mold it too. If this is a crazy creature, you might have something kind of crazy that you create with your Play-Doh. Once you place your pieces together, you can add on your googly eyes. And then we'll celebrate and take a look at some of the artwork that other people have made.